Hi Maker. In today's video we will interface machine learning with Proteus simulation to predict the possibility of raining in percentage. Using three different parameters those are humidity, temperature and light intensity of the environment. Before we go further consider subscribing to our channel or you will lost your internet connection. We have tried to prepare a data set in CSV format which consists of humidity, temperature, light intensity and possibility of raining in percentage. The amount and the quality of your data set will determine the efficiency of your prediction so you have to prepare the data set carefully based on real data or you may search for data set on online repositories like Kaggle. But to keep this tutorial simple and fun we prepare our own simple data set. There are a lot of machine learning algorithm which you might chose but for this tutorial we will use multivariant regression. We will predict the possibility of raining in percentage from DHT and LDR sensors reading. From the two sensors we will read humidity, temperature and light intensity. The probability of raining is equal to a times humidity plus B times temperature plus C times light intensity plus D, where A, B and C are coefficient, and D is intercept. We can read the humidity, temperature and light intensity from sensors data, and the probability of raining is the required value. So our aim is to predict the value of A, B, C, and D from our machine learning model. Go to your Python IDE in my case Jupyter Notebook and import pandas as pd, import numpy as np and from sk learn import linear model. df which stands for data frame equals to pd.read csv and type the name of the csv file inside quotation. Now if you type df.head, you will see the first five data set. Whereas if you type df.tail, you will see the last five data set. reg equals linear model dot linear regression. reg dot fit open brace df open double curly brace and type humidity, temperature and sun inside the quote separated by comma and close the two curly brace comma df dot rain and close the first brace. Type reg dot coef underscore to find the coefficients those are a, b and c. Type reg dot intercept to find the intercept in this case d. You can use the reg dot predict function to predict the amount of rainfall in percentage for specific values of humidity, temperature and light intensity which we pass as an argument for the predict function. Now we have found the coefficients and intercept so we can write the equation which our machine learning algorithm used to predict for specific values. As you can see from the values of coefficients the coefficient of humidity is positive because it is directly proportional to possibility of raining. Whereas the coefficient values of temperature and sunlight is negative which shows us that the possibility of raining in sunny and hot day is low. Write the equation and substitute each values according to the equation. The value which you get from the predict function is almost the same as the value which you get via calculation. The predicted and the calculated values are the same for any points you choose. So after getting the coefficient and intercept you can use one of the two methods to predict for specific point. Now let's go to the Arduino IDE and write the Arduino code. I am not going to describe each line of code for the sake of saving our time. But generally what the code will do is printing out the possibility of raining in percentage on LCD. To calculate the percentage we will use the equation which we got using our machine learning algorithm and sensors data reading. You can find the Arduino code on the first part of the comment section or you can see our Proteus weather station simulation project for better understanding. After making the Proteus hardware connection and after interfacing the Arduino hex file into the Proteus simulation we will have the sensors data reading from the Proteus simulation and the equation used to predict the probability of raining in percentage. So now the prediction will be a matter of mathematics.
As you can see we can vary the percentage possibility of raining by changing the sensor's data on the simulation. If you consider this tutorial as helpful support us by hitting the subscribing and the like button. Your support will help us to make another better video tutorial.